Firstly, I'll tell you, you know, the recent spate of attacks against the minorities and the migrant workers that have taken place from Bihar, from UP, from West Bengal, from MP. Uh, it's again Pakistan's frustration. It is Pakistan's frustration because after the abrogation of Article 370 in 2019, they couldn't unite the so-called Muslim world against India. They couldn't generate any kind of a diplomatic support. So it was almost like India's coup in Jammu and Kashmir. India said that Jammu and Kashmir is an integral part of India. And this is an internal change. And which were the initial countries who supported this? Maldives, UAE, US, who said that, you know, we have nothing to do with this. Why should we comment? It's an internal affair of India. India has been doing whatever it has to. And that's what happened. India prevailed over Pakistan. And Pakistan in itself has its internal uh, economic challenges, radical challenges, etc. That's a vast topic for another day. So the minority killings and the migrant work killings are another spate where Pakistan has not been able to channel funds uh, into Jammu and Kashmir. You mentioned the raids that have taken place and the links that the radical separatists, the Hurriyat Conference, the JKLF, etc. have had with Pakistan. So they've been supported, not just morally or ideologically, but financially. Through Hawala links, they have been receiving money through middlemen who are businessmen, including you know one uh, gentleman called Zahur Ahmed Batali, who is currently in the Tehar jail who was one of the major conspirators supplying money uh, and resources to these separatist organizations. So we have dozens of separatists today, including family members of Sayyid Ali Shah Gilani, including Bitta Karate and Yasin Malik, including Shabir Shah and Dukhtarani Millat's uh, uh, Andrabi and several others who are currently in Tehar jail. And I don't see them getting out anytime soon. So the entire conflict industry or Buryat conference separatism supported by Pakistan, funded by Pakistan, has collapsed right now in Kashmir. Right.